and hello everyone and today we have another news release this should have been a slightly different video but since events in the world of rhythmic gymnastics are happening it's impossible not to discuss them well today in the video we will find out why even a winner called the Avering sisters by chicken why the girls didn't finish sport career about tattoos and also briefly tell what the girls said in an exclusive interview on the channel match tv we will talk a little about the interview of arena winner which gave a dedicational marathon called New Knowledge. Well, in general, there will be a lot more interesting things. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done this yet. The subscribe button should be grey, check this, in case you forgot to do it or accidentally unsubscribed. Also, you can use the link in the description to support the development of my channel. Well, I'll make a little hint about the future videos. As you remember, I was looking for the judges to shoot a detailed video about the results of the Olympics, and I have already received the first results, and I must say that I'm very surprised and I'm sure that you will like it very much. But do not expect it soon, as this is a huge work, not only for me, but also judges from different countries who in their free time review the finals and qualifications. This is just a reminder that this video is in the process of creation and it will definitely be on my channel, but I cannot say how quickly it will be released. Just support and wait, and while you're waiting, watch the new videos. Well, let's start with the news that appeared almost immediately after the release of the last video. From October 16th to 17th, the Grand Prix will be held in Marbella, Spain. Dina, Arena, and Lala Komarenka are announced in the lists. Irina Wiener herself also promised to come to the tournament. According to the preliminary information after the tournament, the girls will stay in Spain and continue preparing for the World Cup, which will be held from October 27th to 30th in Japan, and this means that at the World Cup we will see Evern sisters. There is information that Alina Harnaska, the bronze medalist of the Olympic Games, is also going to this World Championship. Well, as for Alina is from the Olympic champion, she also seems to be planning to perform at the World Championship. So if everything goes exactly like this, then at the end of October we are waiting for an exciting event in the world of rhythmic gymnastics and probably it will be more in demand than the Olympics, because now the whole world is just waiting for a new clash of the world's top gymnasts. On the Russian sport channel called Match TV, an interview with Dina and Avrina Verina was released. It was presented as an exclusive and large interview with the girls after the Olympics, but if you read and watch everything that came out after Tokyo, it is unlikely that it will seem very exclusive to you, except for some details. So in interview, they talk about the performances at the celebration in the honor of the anniversary of Nizhny Novgorod. We discussed this in the last video, about the girls' Instagram and who is responsible for it, about the vacation in Cyprus and what it is like to relax when you can be recognized. Nice. By the way, a nice video came out on the Yula Bravikova's Instagram. And of course, what many people will probably want to watch in this interview is a discussion about the Olympics. What exactly pleases me is that the girls' negative emotions are going away and they begin to express themselves more calmly in interviews. Although the situation with the Olympic Games has divided the world of rhythmic gymnastics into two halves and the saddest thing is that no one wants to put up with anyone's opinion and everyone just insult each other. Of course, I don't really like this woman, but one of the advantages is that everyone began talking about gymnastics more, including federal channels. As Irina Wiener said in her last interview, you need to look for an advantage in everything. Well, returning to the interview of Irene sisters, they shared thoughts during their performances, about Dina's panic and hysteria before the ribbon, about how the girls felt when they were receiving their scores and about watching the Olympics. By the way, it was a strange fact for me that the girls didn't watch all their performances and didn't make an analysis of mistakes because usually everything is more visible from the outside. But I think we will leave all this conversation until the big video but the analysis or performances. Otherwise, someone can probably see dislike from a fairness in my words now. 
especially for this category of people no i don't have it we have a kind and positive channel here with the facts and opinions and i definitely don't feel negativity towards gymnasts well in general summing up if you are thinking about watching it or not i would say definitely watch to admire the beautiful sisters not in the leotards but in ordinary dresses to listen how they reason and how they speak i personally like to watch such things so that the full-fledged image develops about the gymnast and not just the one that you create by watching her performances. Now slowly moving on to an equally interesting interview with Irina Wiener. Let's talk about the end of the girl's career. In the interview on Match TV, Dina said that she couldn't specifically say about the end of her career since there will be new rules and it's a difficult question to say whether they will be able to perform or not. If we take into account that the new rules will focus not not on the work on apparatus but on the difficulty of the body, then this is probably a bad option for Dina given that she has a serious back injury. So in fact, in the interview they didn't specifically say about the end of her career or continuing. Talking about their plans, they want to pass for a driver license, learn English and go to the economic university. Generally, it will probably not be possible with the sports. Basically, gymnasts enter the Leskoft University and do their major in sports, where they have concessions in their studies. If they are in a national team and compete for the country, they don't need to go to university as frequently as ordinary students. While studying a economics but the aim of working in this field isn't likely to happen with their regular trainings. Well, Irina Wiener, an educational marathon, told a story from her side about the end of the career. According to her, Irina called her and said that they wanted to come and say that they are finishing their career. But then Irina Wiener called Irina a vet chicken. This, by the way, should probably be explained, since on the internet it was perceived as a terrible insult. But as I understood, she called Irina vet chicken, since recently, in the preparation for performances at the day of the city, Irina plunged into the water during the first flights on a flyboard. I'm not sure that in this case it sounds very correct and tactful, but at least the essence is clear. After the appeal, Irina Wiener recalled how the girls were met in their native country after the Olympics and said that they simply have no right not to come to a training. Well, we already seen photos of girls from trainings in Novogorsk, so apparently no one began to contradict Irina Wiener. It's true that this question but Dina's back remained open. She will treat it and train or she will do it after the world championship. In general, I think this is an interesting topic for thinking about the whether girls should do their studies and their lives or to prove, I don't even know to whom, that they are the champions. Probably for the country they are already champions and for the rest of the world too. But in any sports the possibility of losing is not excluded, especially in a such subjective sports as gymnastics. When I was preparing for this video, I read quite a lot of different opinions about the fact that Wiener makes girls train. Let them better take care of themselves and give weight to the young gymnasts. After all, if the girls stay, they automatically remain the first numbers, which means that the probability of the other young gymnasts to go to the major tournaments decreases. But on the other hand, there are no less comments and thoughts about the fact that the girls are doing well, that they are not finishing and they need to continue performing until Paris to win Olympic gold. Well, I'm finally interested in what you think about this. I am waiting for your opinion in the comments. Do not forget to express your opinion adequately. And without rudeness, I think that with the advent of a new audience, I will have to remind you about it for now, because it became impossible to read the comments. Thank you for your patience and understanding for those who do everything in a kind way. By the way, in one of the photos from the training, there is a feeling that the girls made a tattoo for themselves, although later another photo refuted that. It was just an inscription with a pen, so those who wrote that the girls marked themselves with a tattoo cannot worry, it will wash away with the soap and water. Although it seems to me that even if it were tattoos, it's absolutely their choice. Well, let's switch from the main characters, who are discussed by the whole world of gymnastics, to the Belarusian star, Alina Harnaska, an amazing video with the true 
Beautiful Alina was released on the popular YouTube channel, where she visited the X Factor show and told about the Olympics, her emotions and about the bronze medal. One of the most interesting things is that because of the Alina's bronze medal, her coach will continue to work. Although they argued with Irina Liparskaya, the head coach of Belarus, that if Alina doesn't win a medal, then Alina's coach will live. Also, Alina confirmed that this is not the end of her sport career. She continues to prepare and is aimed to the Olympics in Paris. Well, this is where our video comes to an end. I think it turned out to be quite interesting. I'm waiting for your comments and we will see in the next video. And remember that I love you all very much and bye bye.